Now this is a socket weld flange, 2 inch raised face, 150 pound socket weld flange. Now remember all flanges have um, uh, a label here, that, that uh, a stamping here that shows uh, the size, the pressure rating, the country of origin, the specification, the material. Now the socket weld flange, <coughs> if you can see right here, has, has a little socket. So the pipe goes in here and, and it fits in the socket and then and then then you can weld it and you can see on, on from the back side uh, this is uh, a standard schedule pipe this is a standard bore socket weld flange and, and, and it's, it's very flush from the back side now on the socket weld flange you have to specify the pipe schedule now the pipe schedule this is a two inch nominal pipe um, and um, this is a standard um, um, schedule pipe and this is a standard schedule socket weld. So the pipe schedule and the and, and the bore of the uh, the socket weld flange has to match, so that there is no um, raised face, or there is no protrusion on on the back side. The difference between um, a socket weld flange that is has a bore of schedule 40, schedule 80 is that this inner bore will change, so it matches the bore of the pipe. That's what you're trying to do. So remember, on a socket weld flange, uh, other than specifying if it's 150 pound, 300 pound, you also have to mention if it's uh, for a schedule 40, schedule 80, a schedule 120, schedule 160, what is the schedule of the pipe where you're trying to use this socket weld flange.